Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, I am Penj and welcome to Until the Last Plane, which is a wartime airfield management game. So we have ourselves an airfield, which is a little bit like an airport, but without the shops and the duty free and the really, really long walk to the gate where you board your plane. And on our airfield, we have all sorts of planes that need to be maintained, there's upgrades to be done, they need refueling and they need reloading with ammunition and all that kind of stuff. And of course, what with it being wartime, we send our brave pilots out in these planes on missions and we get involved in the missions as well so we will be guiding the planes into the dogfights and bombing runs and all that kind of stuff this is the demo version of the game so of course it's not the full version but the demo is available from steam right now and there's a link to the steam store page in the video description below if you want to go and take a little look and i think the full version is planned for early 2021 so yes we've got to wait a little while to get our hands on the full version but yes the demo is available now if you want to go and have a go yourself so i think let's get on with it and take to the skies so it looks like in the full version of the game, in the campaign mode, you will get to choose to play as either the USA, the USSR or Germany. But because we're in the kind of the demo beta version of the game, we can only play as the USA. But that's fine. So we'll go into the USA campaign and then it looks like we have to complete the easy level first to then move on to the medium difficulty level. And then when we've completed the medium difficulty level, we can move on to the hard level. I mean, that might be a little bit ambitious. I mean, I've never run a wartime airfield before. I'm quite happy it's starting us on easy. So yeah, we'll have to go here. So it looks like we're going to be starting in Tunis in the year 1943. We've got some stats over here. So our planes power is five. I'm going to assume it's out of five. I'm going to assume our planes are pretty good. Our technicians are four out of five, possibly. So, you know, our technicians need to catch up a little bit. And it looks like we have plenty of resources as well. And then these are our planes. We can have a squadron emblem. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, hang on a minute. So by simply sticking a tiger onto the side, the planes become more accurate, but less manoeuvrable. Oh, hang on. How does that work? How on earth does that work? Okay, or a boar makes them more durable, but less accurate. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'd rather have them nice and accurate. So nice and accurate. If we stick a bat on the side, the planes become more accurate, but less durable. That might be quite good. Because if we complete our missions, that's going to be quite good. And yeah, accuracy, when we're, you know, shooting things, that's probably going to be quite handy. Um, what else can we choose? Oh, that's it. Okay, so no emblem at all. We get no sort of a pluses, but also no negatives. Um, that gives us accuracy at the cost of manoeuvrability. That's probably very important. That makes us more durable, less accurate. Yeah, let's go for the bat. Let's stick a bat on the side of our planes, which somehow magically makes them more accurate, but slightly less durable. I mean, I don't know how that works. I'm not going to question it. Let's go to Tunis in the year 1943 and see how we can run our own wartime airfield. Okay, so we're out here in the desert and we have a message from High Command, no less. Very fancy. So it reads, the High Command has entrusted you with the management of Gasfer Airport. Okay, so that's where we are. We're at Gasfer Airport. Your mission is to support the land troops that need to advance to Tunis. During the first day, you should run reconnaissance to discover strategic enemy targets. So to get a victory, we need to win at least one mission a day. Okay, that sounds plausible. We can give that a go. But of course, if we lose all our pilots, then yes, that will result in a defeat because you know we're running an airport and we've got nobody to fly the plane. So of course, yeah, that's going to be a loss. Funds aside, we've got 2,000 shiny coins and we have six planes. So six of our lovely planes with our magic bat stickers on the side. So, okay, let's see what we do here. So here we go. This is our lovely airport and time is passing. Time is passing right now. Stuff is happening. Stuff is going on. So we need to do some recon. Currently it's seven in the morning. Let's go and do some reconnaissance. So what we need to do is we do this and then we send this thing out. Now I know very little about planes, but this, this looks like a very exciting plane. It's got kind of a thing at the back there. Um, so we're going to send this out. And at the moment we're sending out with three lots of fuel, which means it can go very far. It can gather a lot of information, but there is a high risk that it might be found. We can drop this down a little bit. Obviously it travels slightly less far. Uh, it gathers less information, but there is a medium risk. I think, I think, given it's very important, I think this thing, this bright blue massive plane, it will hardly be visible to anybody. So let's just go full on. Let's go as far as it can, gather as much information as we can, but also it's going to be a bit risky. So, okay, you take off. There he goes. So he flies away, which is lovely. And now reconnaissance is just sort of flying across here. So time is passing. The reconnaissance plane is just doing its thing and doing reconnaissancing. Uh, so what else have we got? We've got 100 spare parts, seven fuel, and 10 ammunition. We've got, what's that, 10 pilots. Morale is kind of at 100, and we're on day one. Ah, right, reconnaissance has found a thing. Um, they spotted me, oh no, oh no, targets found. Oh dear, right, what do we do about that? I don't know what we do about that. Right, we've got other things as well. So headquarters, we can start learning things. 
Um, oh my goodness me, the durability of each aircraft has increased by one. We have no skill points available, however, so we can't do that. This is where we can order some stuff. I think we might want to order some fuel. How about we spend quite a bit of money on ordering some fuel? Because obviously the planes are going to really struggle without fuel, so let's grab ourselves 10 extra bits of fuel. That'll get delivered soon. Okay, now we have some new missions. So we can either fight the enemies, and I think they were the ones that saw us. They were the ones that saw us on our reconnaissance mission. So we've got three enemies that we need to kill, or attack the base, kill number of, uh, minimum number of foes to kill one, minimum targets to bombard one. Okay, now the wind is strong over in that direction. I think that has a bearing on our sort of maneuvers that we can do. The temperature is high, and our plane is going to be this kind of very, very big attacking plane. Is that it? Oh, no, no, that the so suggested plane is attacker. The enemies are going to be those ones. Okay, right. I think we do this. Let's do this. Let's take down a base because we need to support our ground troops, it said in our mission. So that seems like the logical thing to do. So here we go. We shall pick some people and I don't think anybody has been out. Nobody's got any sort of stress or fatigue or anything. So we will pick, I mean, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. We'll pick Reed, White and Jackson because they're at the top. Um, do you want to pick a fourth one, actually? Let's send four of them out for now because it seems like an important thing to do. Okay, there we go. So we'll keep two behind. So Ross and Young can stay back at base just in case they're needed. And these four can dash off and take part in our first mission. So okie doke. Mission start. Squadron's taking off. And you can see them. There's the two of the skies. And they're off. Away they go. Go, go, go. Yes, indeed. So now the progress is building up. We can see it there on their way. And then, yeah, this thing. Uh, no, not that thing. That's a hangar. What happens here? Oh, right. Okay, that's exciting. Right, here we go. A little thing pops up, which means that we need to get involved. We need to get involved with the stuff that's happening on this mission. Oh, my goodness. Right, okay. So, what altitude shall I bomb from? I have utterly no idea, my good sir. I don't know. You're the pilot. I don't know. If the wind is strong, surely we want to go lower. Slower reticules, but 75% chance of being intercepted. Um, or do we stay at this altitude, where there's a 50% chance of being intercepted? Or do we go up... So the reticules, I assume we have to sort of click on something to drop a bomb. The reticule moves faster, but there's only a 25% chance of being intercepted. Let's just play it safe. Let's stay at this altitude. Um, okay, lock on the thing and then drop. Uh, oh, I think, did we drop it on the right thing? Oh, okay, I think we did. I think we dropped on something. However, we have been shot. Okay, right, so my, uh, right, his plane can't fly. Right, we have another one of those. What altitude shall I bomb from? Okay, stay at that attitude. Right, okay, okay, right, hang on a minute. Right, so, line there. Oh, no, oh, I've missed it completely. <laughs> Target missed, that was terrible. Are we going to get shot? Yeah, okay, he's been shot as well. This isn't going well. This isn't going well at all. Right, so two planes are down. These guys are going to pull in here to try and get repairs. Right, okay, here we go. What altitude? Let's go to low altitude, because I was rubbish before. So, okay, so there and there. Okay, beautiful. That's got to blow that thing up. Boom. That must have caused some damage. We have also been hit, however. Okay, so all three of our planes now need repairs, and we don't know what bits are damaged. So here we go. We've got to sort of work out what bits are damaged. So you investigate that bit. You... Oh, your plane's on fire. Okay, right, we should sort that out. And what's wrong with your plane? It's lightly damaged. Okay, inspect the... Is that the propeller? Inspect the propeller. Go and do that. Right, problem found. Repair whatever that thing is. We've got a thing here. Uh, right, we can shoot one of them down. We can shoot one of them down. So now we get to choose how we want to get involved in this dogfight. So if you put the cursor over the things, you can see there's a little silhouette that appears. And what we want, we want to kind of be within a sort of range of the enemy. In front of us, we have kind of a cone of fire. So when it's our turn, we have a cone of fire, and then we can sort of aim at them and shoot from there. So let's let's have a normal attack, I think. Let's go for a normal attack. That could be quite good. So we'll just move forward a bit, and then the enemy have moved forward. Okay, we'll go forward again. Lovely. They're dodging. Okay, let's do a dive attack. Now, we've got more moves over them because they're a bit bigger. So, okay, we'll go there. They've done a scissor move over to the right. We'll just go for a normal attack. And then we'll go for a normal attack again. And they should be right in front of us. And there you go. There's our cone of fire. So, we should be able to shoot them. And enemy down. So, we've shot one of them down, which is beautiful. So, okay, down you go. Cheerio. There's something wrong with his plane. Okay. Right, hang on. All the planes are seemingly quite broke. The engineers are working on that one. Right, problem found. Fix that propeller thing with spare parts, okay? And white here. Let's get your plane. Oh, your plane's up and running, is it? Your plane is up and running, okay. However, it looks like we've done that. Maximum number of foes to kill one. 
Uh, no, minimum number of foes to kill one, minimum number of targets to bombard two out of one. So I think we've completed the mission. I think that's okay. Um, right, okay, what's wrong with your plane? Is it the wing? Let's have a look. Surely you'll be able to see. There's a massive great hole in the wing, then you should be fine. Okay, right, let's go do some dog fighting. So yeah, we get loads of moves on them. So these should be fine. So we'll just move forward. We'll move forward. We'll move... Oh, they're going that way. We'll move back a little bit. And then we'll move forward again. And we have one more move. We'll move forward. They're within our range. They're just within our range as well, look. They're just within our range. So yeah, they get a shot on us. Because they fire backwards. Okay. Right, there you go. But our mission has been accomplished. We've shot two people down. Uh, we've bombed two of their bases. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, right. It, it's not gone quite so well. We have a dead pilot. Um, but morale has gone up. Hooray! One of our pilots died. Maybe he was very unpopular. Maybe he was really, really unliked. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so we've lost a pilot, but we have got morale, and we've been given a lovely pile of money as well, which we might need to actually buy some more stuff with. So, uh, so okay, that was okay. Mission accomplished. Our first mission is done. Oh no, I White will not be coming home. Okay, so morale went back down a little bit there. So mission ended, all pilots return to base. They're all pulling in. Right, you still need your plane repairing. It's lightly damaged. Is there a problem with the fuel tank? And then down here, it said we have a skill point available. So what do we get? The accuracy of all pilots could be increased by 10. That could be good. Um, or metal work. The durability of each aircraft is increased by 10. Or tactics, all... Ah, all technicians will work 10% faster. Oh, these are all really good. Can, can we have all of them, please? If the technicians work 10% faster, we can get people out a lot quicker. But accuracy of all pilots increased by 10. What do we go for the durability? Let's go for this. Let's get the technicians working on our planes 10% faster so they can get the things out a little bit quicker. So we'll go for that, please. And that unlocks Night Guard. Increases camp security at night by preventing marauders from looting resources. Okay, right, that's a thing then. Or, um, the scout plane is less likely to be intercepted. Oh, okay, right. So there's a scout plane type thing. Uh, okay, I want to come out of the headquarters thing now. Uh, okay, I'm done I'm done now. How do, how do I leave? Let me out. There we go. Right, so the problem is uh, located. We've got enough spare parts. We've got fuel. We've got all that other stuff. Right, okay. What are all these things? Like, what's that? A workshop... Okay, a workbench. Okay, what can we craft? Ah, what's this? We can improve things. Oh, we can craft extra parts. So we have bits in stock. I don't know what that is, but we've, what is that? I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. A thin looking thing. I don't know what that is, but okay, we've got their weapons. Okay, so we've got one in stock. Uh, we've got one wing in stock. We've got one fuel tank in stock. I feel like we should probably craft some more things. Like an engine. We've got none of them in stock. I feel like we should probably craft ourselves some engines. It costs a hundred parts. A hundred parts to make an engine. And what have we got not very much of? We've not got very much of anything. We've come very, very unprepared. Okay, right. What's going to take damage? Radiators. Let's make one of those, shall we? Let's get our people to make a radiator. And I think they're all the things we can interact with on this particular airfield. We've got a little sort of little sort of uh, badge thing there saying, yeah, you completed a mission, well done. We do have 3,000 money. Why don't we order a load of spare parts? Why don't we order 100 spare parts for a 1,000 of our funds? So we'll do that, and then we'll stock up on fuel and ammunition as well. We'll grab ourselves a load of stuff, and then when the parts arrive, we will build ourselves an engine. That's probably a good idea. Do some crafting. So, yeah, okay, right, we've got two radiators in stock. How much is it to make a propeller? Okay, do that. And then, do we want to do another... Oh, no, that's it. We have to do one mission a day. And that's it. Oh, okay. This is fine. We can just sort of get this stuff done now before the end of the day. And then we press that. It skips to the next day. And then we can get some more recon done, get some more missions, and go from there. Okay, this is fine. Well, there we go. Let's get all these things delivered. And then we'll get ourselves these things built. And we'll just stock up on our resources a little bit. Because, yeah, I don't like feeling... I felt like we are a little bit low on things there. Which is never a good situation to not have the supplies to repair your planes. So, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll wait for our stuff to get delivered. We'll wait for us to make an engine, which I imagine is quite difficult. And then we'll see where we go. Can we get ourselves more people? Yes, we can. If we want to, we can. Okay, yeah, there we go. Dead. Oh, these people are in danger. Plane has been t uh, the plane's taken heavy damage, and its next mission will be its last. You can repair it in the squadron selection menu before the mission. Okay, 
Can we recruit other people? The day has ended. Okay, right. So we can't do that right now. Uh, however, the workshop is here. Let us let us make an engine because we don't have one of the. Oh, hang on. Have the parts been delivered? Oh no, the parts haven't been delivered yet. The 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 wagon for the parts went the wrong way. It took a left instead of a right, and they're not here yet. Uh, okay. I mean, we, we'll just wait for them then. If nothing else is going on. It's the end of the day. We'll wait for the parts to arrive. There we go. 161 parts are now coming our way. So uh, yeah, let's get ourselves an engine constructed. Assign more technicians to speed up construction. Okay. I mean, what are they all doing anyway? They're doing nothing else. So okay, we'll get everybody to build us a spare engine just in case we need one. And then that means we've got at least one spare of everything. So spare wings and spare radiators and propellers. And then now also an engine, which has got to be a very good thing. And the engine is complete, which is wonderful. So there we go. Right, now we'll just skip to the next day. I mean, it does kind of make you wonder why there's a bar that ticks up at this point in the game. I don't think you need a progress bar ticking up if nothing else is going on. We're kind of not against the clock right now. So you could just say, yay, the engine is done. But that's fine. Um, right, let's go to the next day. So day two has rolled around. I think we need to do some more reconnaissance again. Oh, the road to Tunis. The road to Tunis must be cleared. Today's missions will all have enemy armoured vehicles as their targets. Destroy as many as you can. Okay, so mission of the day, tank escort. Okay, and there's a village nearby. The head of a nearby village showed, us, uh, showed up at the camp. He says he's glad the allies have finally landed. He brings gifts, fruit grown by their farmers. Okay, I didn't realise every little kind of story pop-up things. Oh, this is wonderful. Um, okay. Accept the gifts, yes and no. This makes me a little bit nervous. Is the head of the nearby village really a nice person? Is he a lovely person? And he's bought some nice freshly grown fruit to say thank you to the allies. Or is he some sort of baddie sort of agent in disguise who's bought a load of poisonous kind of grot to kill all our pilots? I'm going to... I'm going to say yes. I'm going to assume that they're a nice person. You accept the gifts and the chief of the village seems very happy. Unfortunately, your men get a stomachache after they eat the fruit. Oh, botherations. Okay, so he wasn't a baddie. It was just they just couldn't handle the fruit. Okay, fine. There we go. Um, a depot has been seized. Our army has captured an enemy warehouse. Some spare parts have been recovered. 150 spare parts. Oh, that's wonderful. Hang on. Can we get some more stuff constructed? Can we make ourselves a spare wing? That's 100 parts. Let's make a spare fuel tank. There we go. Um, and, okay, new missions. Here we go. So, tank escort. Minimum number of foes to kill, two. Okay, so we're going to have fighter planes, and that is going to be our enemy plane. Uh, okay, I think this is fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll take off. Right, ah, I see. I see. So, these ones here, these planes are very, very badly damaged. We are going to need to repair some of them, however. I think we need to take four people on the mission. So those two can go. We'll spend a bit of money to repair you and a bit of money to repair you. Do we spend a bit of money to repair that one as well? Yeah, go on. Let's take all of our people. There was only one mission, so we might as well take five planes. Okay, take off. Let's see how we get on. They're building a thing. Do we need to order any of the extra bits? I don't think so. Okay. To the skies. Go, go, go. Here we go. Right. How badly is this going to go? We've got to do that targeting thing again. <laughs> I was rubbish at that targeting thing. Okay. Here we go. Yep. It's a targeting thing. Oh, no. It's a shooting down a plane thing. Okay. We've got five moves as opposed to their three. Okay. Edge a bit nearer. And edge a bit nearer because they're kind of getting away. Um, okay. Attack from below. They've moved over to the right. We can't move to the right, it seems. We can only move right, but then also go backwards, sort of down. Go forward. And then go forward again. Are we going to be able to reach them from there? They might be slightly out of range. No, look, we can get them and they can't get us. They are not in our range. So we've shot them down and we, for the first time, have not taken any damage. Hooray! It is glorious. Okay, another one of those. And what's our actual thing? We need to kill... Oh, we need to kill some people. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, right, move forward. And they're fast diving. Okay, we will move forward again. We will move forward again. Uh, we will... Do we want to do that thing where we go... Yeah, let's do that again and then go forward again. Because I think that should work. Yeah, we'll shoot their tail. That's perfect. Okay, enemy down. Boom, into the ground with you. Cheerio. And that's that done. Minimum number of foes to kill too. We've done that. Okay, you're in a slightly different position. Right, we'll move forward. And they're fast diving. We'll go that way. They're just going to keep trying to run forward. Well, fly forward. They're not running. That's not how planes work. Um, we'll go there. 
And then, have we got to do a move? If we go here, if we do a dive attack, are we going to be able to shoot their wing? I think maybe we can get their wing. Oh, we, I think they've got us. I think they've got us. I think they've hit our wing. Oh, no, that was a terrible decision. That was a rubbish decision. I cannot fly. I cannot fight in this plane. Sorry. And that was some poor decisions by me there. I apologize. Right, let's get this repaired. Is there a problem with the propeller? I don't know. Let's go out. Oh, we're over the water. Oh, okay. Right, head forward. Head forward. Head forward again. They're going to the right. So we could head forward again. And could we? we're just going to have to head forward again. I don't think. If we do that, are we doing the same as what we did before? And putting ourselves in a position where we can't hit them? I think we, but they're going to fire at us from there. Let's go there. And I think I think we've hit each other. I think we've caused each other damage. So yeah, okie doke. Right, never mind, never mind. We're both hit. We go down. Oh no, he went down. Oh, there's something wrong with the plane. Yeah, it's got bullet holes in it. That's a problem. I'm no mechanic, but I can tell you that's probably going to hinder flying. Um, you're out of ammo. Okay, well, we've got some ammo. Is there a problem with that thing? The fuel tank. Is there a problem with that thing? Right, okay, you're fighting. Right, go forward and go backward a bit maybe. And then go forward. And then go forward. Oh, we've got one move. We're not going to reach them, I don't think. If we go forward, are we just going to get their tail? Are we just going to get their tail? Yes, I think we just clipped their tail with that. That was very fortunate. Okay, right, you reload ammo. Can we get some more people? Can we get more mechanics? That'd be really handy. Right, hang on. You, you need to figure out what the problem is. Is it your wing? And you need some spare parts. They should do this a little bit quicker, which is wonderful. Right, you're going to go and fly away, which means we can bring you in. You're out of ammo. Okay, we need more bays. We need more little sort of uh, parking bay things. Um, problem is with whatever that is, that radiator. You need some more ammo. Um, okay, what's this? Um, ah, right. Oh, we're... Oh, oh. We are being chased. Oh, bother. Okay, right, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, and we only have so many uses of some of these things. You've only got one dodge and two barrel rolls. Okay, well, let's go there. Let's see what they do. Normal attack. We'll go there again. <laughs> we'll just keep trying to sort of edge out their way. Um, attack from below. Then can we barrel roll? That's going to be right in front of them. That's a stupid thing to do. We'll just do this because then they, they're not going to hit us if we're over here. <laughs> We've just sort of flown next to them. Hello. Just lean out the window. Cheerio, chaps. Um, and there we go. Mission accomplished. We shot down four people. And the, the plus side is that nobody died, which is wonderful. And we've been given a lovely big pile of money, which is splendid. Uh, mission ended. All pilots returned to base. That guy just flew off, clearly not listening to his orders. And then let's repair. And let's reload you. You're being repaired. You can come in. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, that's good. You go back to the hangar and, and park up. And careful, don't crash, you two. Is everything ready with you two? Yep, they're good. And N. Young can fly, well, no, sort of uh, drive his plane over that way, back into the hangar, and we're all good. Okay, so is that the end of the day? Does that now count as the end of the day? Because it says new missions. But do we need to do more missions? We haven't done like a, a, a tank run mission yet. I thought we were going to be blowing up some tanks, whatever it was. Um, okay, headquarters... We can get ourselves another thing here. Get ourselves another perk. Let's get let's get Falcon. Falcon Eye, even. Uh, increase the accuracy of all pilots by 10. There we go. Um, and I'm sure those things are good for the next thing. But okay. Yeah, do we need to do a new mission? Yeah, we need to do this escort mission, don't we? We need to do that, I think. Um, okay. Have we got enough of everything? Yes. Let's do it. Let's have a go at this, shall we? So the enemies are the ones we've seen before. Fighters. The wind is weak and the temperature is high. I don't know what, don't know what kind of uh, difference that has. Wind and temperature affect the precision and resistance of the aircraft, respectively. The suggested plane has more accuracy in bombing. So the wind uh, affects the precision and the temperature affects the resistance. So there's weak wind, so it should be more accurate. But the temperature is high, so if they get damaged, they're going to get quite damaged. Okay, fine. Do you know what? Let's have a go, shall we? Um... Yeah, you, you're quite fatigued, but we'll take you. And you, we need some more planes. Can we get some more planes, please? Right, we'll repair those. Let's just get everybody. Just put all the people in it. There we go. Everybody, go and blow up some tank things, please. Squadron's taking off, because this could give us some money. Might get another little sort of uh, sort of rosette thing just there, which is always nice. Because how are we going to do with this? Another thing is going to come in, and this is a... This is us hunting them down. Okay, right, move forward and keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. 
go backward a bit and hope they don't do anything and then go there. Yay, we've got them. Now, is that bigger? Is that bigger? Does that make us more accurate now? We've got a slightly larger sort of targeting thing. Is that right? Because we picked that perk. I don't know. What's our thing there? Minimum number of foes to kill, one out of two. Okay, so forward, forward, forward. Then we'll go back and then we'll go forward. Yeah, that seems quite good. That seems like a good kind of routine kind of, you know, <laughs> attack pattern alpha kind of thing there. That seems to work quite well. Okay, this is fine. So we've done the minimum number of foes to kill on the thing and now we're being pursued. Okay. Can we just do this? Can we just get alongside them again? Give them a little wave. Hey guys, how are ya? Don't crash into us because, you know, planes dangerous and everything. Don't want to take my wing off. Yep, there we go. Evaded. Cheerio. Okay, so that's three of our things in action, is it? Is that it? What's this? This is a, That's a targeting somebody. I don't know what that thing is. That looks a bit worrying, doesn't it? Okay, we'll go forward, forward, forward. Then we'll go there and then we'll go forward. And then that means we shoot their wing. They don't shoot us. Cheerio, baddie plane out of the sky. And down you go. And boom. Okay, what's this? What's this thing? I'm very tired. Can I come back to base? Yeah, absolutely. You are quite tired. Oh, yeah, there's a high probability of you crashing during the flight. Yes, you can come back home because I don't want you to crash and die because that would be somewhat ill-advised. Right, okay. Right, let's do the thing we did before. Attack pattern alpha. There we go. And back one and forward one. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Blow their tail off. And I think... Is that it? Is that everyone... Has everyone had a go? Like what constitutes the mission completing? We've killed four out of the two people. Can we just all come back home now? Can we all come back home for a little lie down? Okay, attack pattern alpha again. So three of those. Then attack from below. And then shifty forward. They can't reach us. We can shoot them. Boom, down you go. Enjoy a swim down there. No more bullets. Okay, yeah, we can reload you. We've got stuff to reload you. That's absolutely fine. Okay, you need reloading as well. Okay, right, reload you. Um, we will just do some of this stuff. We'll just do the same thing again. And down and forwards. I think we're going to get there. Ju just caught their, their sort of whatever that is. The back of their tail wing? Tail fin? Whatever it is. Um, okay, that was fine. We just ran over one of the mechanics. That's, that's probably terrible. Uh, right, okay, and then we're just reloading people. We're just reloading people. I think lots of people are out of ammo. Yes, the, the mission's finished. It's fine. We've, we've, we've blown up loads of things. It's all good. They're going to have no planes left at this rate. Where are you going? You're going straight back out. Oh, my goodness me. Just stop. It's all fine. Just leave it, okay? Um, right, you reload. Here we go. Right, let's get another one then. One, two. Um, let's go there. You're moving in a slightly different direction. We'll go two moves left. Move back and go forward. And we should be out of their range, but we've got quite a good range. So yeah, they didn't get us. We got them. Boom. Another enemy down. I mean, do we get money per enemy down? Maybe we do. That was a lot of money. Um, promoted. <gasps> a pilot got promoted. Oh, what does that mean? I don't know what that does. Do they get special perks and things? And we shot down seven enemies. Jay Reed has been promoted to skilled. Okay. All right, Chappie, come back and land. We don't need to do all this stuff. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. And we've got 3,350 money now, which is pretty good. Okay, so what can we do? Could we upgrade our workbench? Workbench 2. Does that mean we have just another workbench making stuff? Or do we? Or is it a better workbench? I don't know. Do you know what? There's only one way to find out. Let's just click the button and see what happens. It looks like it's the same thing. But we can make two things at the same time now. That's probably fine. Uh, okay. How about we make ourselves another one of those? Because we're not doing much with it. And that workbench can make another cockpit. There we go. So we'll stock up on parts. That seems to make sense. We have another skill point. Because we did another mission. Um, let's get... Now these are required two. Well, let's get that one. Let's just get the first sort of skill point in each sort of branch. So there we go. Metalwork. The durability of each aircraft has increased by 10, which can be no bad thing. So there we go. So what's next then? So what does that do? Condor diving technique. Raise resistance for all pilots by 10. They will be less fatigued during the flight. That could be handy. Strong arm. All pilots control the plane better by reducing the penalty when there is wind. The bombardment grids will move more slowly. Oh, that's what we need. I was rubbish at the bombardment grids. Uh, that is optimised production. 20% less spare parts are needed to build a component. That could be handy. Light structure. 
the ammunition and fuel capacity of your aircraft has increased by 20. Useful. Night guard. Oh yeah, that's, that's security at night. And that is the scout plane. Okay, but that's fine. So we've got some good things sort of done. Now we just wait for everyone to start building stuff out of spare parts. We might, we might want to order some more spare parts, possibly. Let's order another 100 spare parts. Because, yeah, we're going we're gonna to burn through them. Particularly if we're sort of building extra bits and bobs as well. Oh, tails. Tails are, and wings, are, they need a lot of spare parts. Okay, do you know what? Let's build a wing. Let's build a wing, shall we? There we go. Right, we have a wing underway as well. And now we'll, we'll just sit and wait. I assume that we just now sit and wait for this stuff. I mean, can we go to next day? But does that stop these things being constructed? I'm not entirely sure. Do you know what? I'm quite, I'm quite happy for these to just sort of tick through and we'll just see what happens. Oh, by the way, I can confirm space is pause, which is wonderful. Oh, there's a speed controller just here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, let's move it on to double speed then and get these things done a bit quicker. Although I think if we go to next day, surely those things are going to be complete. Surely we'll be absolutely fine with those things. The stuff will have been delivered and we will have completed our sort of our wing kind of construction. Let's just go next day. All orders into the warehouse must be delivered. Okay. Um... Well, oh, okay, we'll, we'll just sit and wait then. It seems a bit this, this possibly, I know it's a demo, and obviously they're working on it, it's kind of like an early access beta thing. This bit probably does need a little tweak, because at the moment, nothing is happening. We're just waiting for something to get delivered. There's no threat, there's no peril. We're just sort of sitting here waiting. Can we go to the next day? Yeah, so look, that's just ticking up, but nothing else is happening, so we have nothing much to do. Maybe... If it's at the end of the day, stuff can just happen instantly because there's no reason for it not to. But it's fine. There we go. We'll wait for that thing to get done. We've made ourselves a wing. Now we can go to the next day and tis day three. Okay, so what is going to happen on day three? Village nearby number two. The chief of the village is back. He asked two of our technicians to help him build a well. If you decide to send them, they won't be available all day. Do you want to send two mechanics to help the village? We have... How many mechanics do we have? Five. We'll probably be okay. I think we'll be okay. I mean, yeah, we're here. Let's make a difference. We're obviously involved in the war effort, but let's make a difference to the nearby village as well. Yeah, go on, why not? There you go. Um, they decide to send two of your mechanics. They, uh, you recommend to be careful and come back as soon as possible. They get on a cart with the head of the village and you see them disappear into the dunes. So two fewer mechanics. Jasmine. This evening, she came to Camp Jasmine with her girls. They offered to spend the night with the pilots to raise their morale. Do you want to let the girls stay with the pilots for tonight? I mean, I'm sure that's fine. That'll be nice. They can, you know, they can uh, play some board games. <laughs> I don't know. Have a nice cup of tea or whatever. Uh, you know, talk about home. I don't know. Yeah, why not? I don't know. Um, you accept the girls' proposal. They don't seem to have contracted any disease. Okay. Sh should they have contracted diseases? Where are these girls from? Okay. Plus 40 morale. Hooray. Plus 40 morale for no disease people. Um, okay. Reconnaissance. Let's do some recon. Let's do... Um, should we do a middle range one? Let's do a mid range one. Okay. Massive reconnaissance play. And you go and take off and see what you can find. Oh, that's not the number of pilots up there. That's the number of mechanics. Oh, that's fine. We've got eight mechanics remaining. That's absolutely fine. Um, right. Yeah. Can we recruit some people? Can we recruit some people? We might need another plane, possibly. Yeah, we'll get another P-36 in. Um, and now we can't get another one. But yeah, we've ordered another plane, which is probably going to be quite good. Okay, reconnaissance completed. Targets found, one. So we have to complete this mission. Minimum number of foes to kill, one. Minimum targets oh, to bombard, one. Okay, not very good at bombarding things. Um, okay, do we wait for our new plane to arrive? I think it's probably worth doing. Hang on, let's just wait. Let's just move Tom a little bit quicker. Let's get that thing in. Get our new plane in. There it is. Hello, new pilot. I, Thomas. Hi, I, Thomas. I, Penge. In you come. Through into the hangar. And beautiful. Right, okay. Now let's have a go at this. Uh, right, okay. Where's I, Thomas? Just there. You can go in. Now, are these the promoted people? Does that mean they're promoted? That little sort of bar thing? Or does that mean they're stressed out or whatever? Um, one, two, three. We'll send four. We'll leave Jackson and Scott behind because they're a bit sort of fatigued and what have you. So, okay, they will do. So you two and you two. The only person with anything is Reed, who's a tiny, tiny bit worn out. Okay, we'll send four of them. Mission start. Squadrons taking off. Indeed they are. Right, okay. Good luck, squadron. Okay, our first thing is a bombing run. Um, okay, let's, let's just stay where we are. I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. Okay, okay, okay. Right, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. It's that one first, isn't it? Boom. 
And then, and then, quick, 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 boom. Okay, bombs away. And are we going to get caught? Oh, we've been caught. Oh, botherations. Okay, right, so one of our people is down. There's something wrong. Yeah, bullet holes. That's always a problem. But we have taken down one of the targets. Okay, this is us fighting them. We've done this before. Attack pattern alpha. So one, two. Oh, he's doing something different. Three. Um, if we go to there and then there, we could probably hit them, I imagine. Oh, no, we've got another move. Um, if we go here, we could probably hit their wing. And they're not going to hit us at all. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. You go down. Cheerio, enemy. Enjoy the desert. Load the sand. Make a sand castle. It'll be fine. So, um, yeah, we've completed the mission objectives already. You've got a problem with whatever that thing is. Your tail. Okay, you investigate that. Uh, okay. One forward. Two forwards. Let's nip over to the... Nip over to the left a bit. And then go... Can we go to... We've got two moves left. If we go left and forward... We can hit them. Yeah, we'll take their wing off. Absolutely. They can't get us. We take their wing off. Down you go, enemy. Cheerio. We're still looking at I, Thomas's thing. Oh, no. Another bombing run. Rubbish at these. Okay. Right. Hang on a minute. They've kept their ammo on a, on a remote island for some reason. Oh, oh, that's a bit risky. And there. Is that going to hit? I think we might have been spotted. There's somebody behind us. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, he's burning. Quickly, fire teams. Fire teams to N. Young. He's a bit on fire. Hang on. I, oh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, you do a thing. You put him out. Put him out. He's a bit on fire. Right, bombing run. Stay on this altitude. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, there and there. Oh, yes. Are we going to get caught on this one? No, we got out. We got out. You're out of ammo. Okay, fine. Right, hang on. Wait there. Okay, you forward. You forward. You... Let's go back. Let's go back a bit. Then we'll go... Uh, that way. And then forward. And hopefully shoot his wing. Yay! There we go. We just clip his wing. It's enough to send him spiralling down to the ground. Cheerio, enemy. Yeah, if you can put him out in terms of, you know, the fire. Problem found. Okay, fix the thing. You've got no ammo. All right. Okay, yeah. We need, we need lots of stuff happening here. Lots of people. Uh, if only we had loads more mechanics, that would be useful, wouldn't it? If only they weren't off in the middle of the desert building a well, that would be useful. However, you're fixed. You can get back out there. That's what you're fixed. We've put the fire out on your plane, which is always quite good. Okay, here we go. Right, they're going back out. Again, I don't know what. We've already done loads of stuff. We've done lots of damage already. Okay, another bombing run. Um, Okay, go from a higher altitude. Oh, what is this? Okay, hang on. Oh, did we just do that? Did I just absolutely... Yes, right in the middle. That was brilliant. Okay, give you some more ammo. I think the mission is done. There we go. Shot down three enemies. Bombed four bases. One pilot promoted. Nobody dead, which is always good. And morale up 20. And we've got ourselves a nice pile of cash as well. Okay, that was a good day. That was a very, very good day. Um, so we could... We could send some people out on reconnaissance. We could just go, yeah, reconnaissance. Let's go and get some more missions. I don't think we need to, do we? We've completed our mission for the day. I don't think we need to do anything else, do we? We've kind of done our mission. Mission's completed today. One. So we don't need to do anything else. That was our goals, wasn't it? Just do one mission a day and everything is fine. So, uh, so okay, there we go. Well, let's go and spend our sort of... I know we can't spend our perk point because they now require two points to get the next ones. Okay, let's not do that then. Um, I mean, we could just order... We could order some ammunition. Let's get some ammo in for 300. So get 10 extra bits of ammo in. And then we'll just skip to the next day, I think, because there's nothing much for us to do today now. We've, we've done what has been asked of us. Okay, so the day ended without incident. It is day four. What's going to happen on day four? The war on supplies. We need to get supplies for the newly landed army, protect our ships, and try to bombard enemy convoys. Okay, so missions of the day, ship escort, bombing ships. Okie doke. Village nearby number three. The local natives have returned to the camp to pay us a visit. They bring a figurine as a gift. They say it's their lucky idol. Do you accept the statue? Surely they need it. Oh, now this is a tricky thing. If we say yes, we'll take a lucky idol away from them. They might be a bit miffed. If we say no, they might be offended that we've rejected it. Um, oh, do you know what? Yeah, go on, we'll have it. You accept the figurine willingly. It's very solid and carved in wood. You decide to put it in the HQ on your desk. No consequence. Okie doke. Okay, so that's it, is it? Nothing else happened. Our mechanics are back from building a well. That didn't seem to get us any money or anything. Okay, so what missions do we have? Ship escort or bombing ships? Number of foes to kill, two. 
Let's have a go at this one, shall we? Let's kill a couple of people. Let's just take a few sort of a uh, few enemy fighters down. So, okay, great. Right, take off. Um, let's get let's get Thomas back on. So there you go. So right, you can go out, and you're not very fatigued. Um, young, you can go back out as well. We'll send four. Let's get uh, let's get Ross out as well. So we'll send those four out, please. There you go, folks. Off you go to the skies. Yep, you know the drill. You know how planes work. Kind of, you know, upward and kind of, you know, pointing skyward. Stay away from the ground until you're coming to land. That kind of thing. Okay, so first shooting down the enemy mission. Let's just do what we've kind of done a few times. So go forward, go forward, go forward. They're going to nip sideways. If we go backwards and then there... Yep, yeah, we hit them. They don't hit us. That is one enemy already down, which is splendid. I like the fact that we have more moves than them. That's quite good. Um, and yeah, the minimum number of foes to kill is two. And we've already killed one as it is. Okay, so here we go. Is this going to be the second foe that we're going to take down? That's a third move that way. We will drop back and we'll go forwards. And we shoot the turn of their plane off, which I imagine a plane with the back bit missing is quite hard to fly. Hence, you know, the whole crashing kind of thing. So there we go. That's that sorted. Um... And then we'll just sort of carry on. I mean, yeah, these are just now extra planes that we're just blowing up because we want to. I don't know. We'll dodge left on that one. Um, and then dodge left and forwards. Is that going to work? If we go backward and forward, that'll be okay. They won't get us just. Oh, crikey. That's, that's close to our propeller there. But they didn't get us. And there we go. I mean, we're not even halfway through. We're not even halfway through the mission. And we're just picking them off quite nicely. So we're... Okay. Oh, look, we're being chased on this one. Okay, let's just do this crazy thing where we just fly next to them. Because they can't seem to do anything about it. We just <laughs> we just fly right next to them and they just can't do anything about it. We just sort of put the handbrake on and just sort of, you know, sort of skid turn right next to them. And then just fly away. Okay, fine. Well, do you know what? We'll just keep going. We'll just keep working our way through this. Because, uh, because yeah, this is, this is now... Because we've got extra moves on them. Because we've got five goes as opposed to their three... We actually do find this a little bit sort of straightforward. So, okay, so there you go. Forwards, forwards. Let's go backwards on that one. Let's go uh, forwards. And we'll go forwards again. And I don't think they can hit us. We can hit the wing. Okie dokie, right. I think we've got this kind of sorted. And there we go. Some people came back in to reload. But mission accomplished. Five enemies down. We lost nobody. 20 morale. And a nice pile of money as well. That is wonderful. There we go. Good job, everybody. Mission ended. All pilots return to base. And of course, we get to pick our new perk because we have the two skill points available. And I think we're going to go for this. Condor diving technique. Raise resistance for all pilots by 10. So that's quite good. And they'll be less fatigued during the flights. So they're less likely to make mistakes because they're going to be slightly less tired. So yeah, okay, we'll have that, please. That unlocks raising the will of our pilots uh, by 20 and also an expert diver. Pilots are getting faster in the bombardment. They are intercepted less often during bombing actions. Oh, oh, I see it rules that one out. So it's a choice. Oh, you can't get both. It's a choice. You can only have one of the perks on each row. Oh. Oh, okay, right. I see. I was not aware of that. So now we can never have strong arm. Okay, that's probably fine. Um, I don't really want to do anything else for the rest of the day. We might want to order some ammunition in again because we went through a little bit of that before. Um, but we've got loads of fuel. Do you know what? Let's order some spare parts. Why not? We'll order another hundred spare parts. We'll go and make ourselves a thing. What do we need? What have we not got much of? Um, we've not got a tail. How about we make ourselves a new tail for a, a hundred and we'll just chuck loads of people on it because they're not doing anything else. There we go. Right, make us a tail, order some bits in and then we'll go to the next day, I suppose. Okay, so day four is done. Day five is underway. They got the parts in and they built our sort of tail thing. The village nearby is becoming a bit of a nuisance. Village nearby, what do you want now? The village chief sent a messenger. Looks like they found the wreckage of a plane that crashed in the dunes. Do you want to take the wreckage to the camp? Yes, it might have some useful stuff in it. Um, the wreckage is from a German plane. It's still in good condition. Give it to your mechanics and ask them if they can do anything with it. No consequence. Okay, I wonder if that's something we need to do in the game itself. I do not know. Is there now a thing that we need to do? Is there a, is there a plane we need to sort of hack apart or anything? I can't see a plane anymore. There's one there. But that's been there all that time. An abandoned plane wreck. We should dismantle it one of these days. Go on then. Dismantle it. I don't know how to tell you to dismantle it. Okay, uh, right, let's do some reconnaissance. Let's just do it on the middle sort of tier again. Okay, reconnaissance plane, go and find us some stuff to shoot at. Oh, it just found something. It just found something right at the end of its run. It's found a thing. Um, bomber factory. Okay, so minimum targets to bombard two. However, there are two enemies now. Oh my goodness. Okay, th this will be fine. This will be fine. Let's take off. Let's have a go. Right, you're not fatigued. You're not fatigued. You're not fatigued. Let's send, this is probably going to be the only mission we're going to do all day. Let's just send everybody. 
everybody go out and do some good old, you know, plane fighting stuff and bombing and what have you. So, okay, everybody take off, mission start, squadron taking off, and the mission is underway. Let's see how we get on. So, I imagine there's going to be some dogfighting, but also we are going to need to drop some bombs on things. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see how we get on with that, because that's not been our strongest point. I'm sure we'll muddle through. Oh, no, and here we go. It's a bomb run already. Okay, stay at that altitude. Where is the thing? Okay, there and there. Is that okay? Is that okay? I think we might have hit it. How many do we need to hit? Two. We've already hit one. Oh, absolutely. Right, we're off to a flying start. Here we go. Here's another one. Stay at that altitude. Right, where is the thing? Oh, crikey. Hang on a minute. There and there. Is that right in the middle? And boom. And we got away as well. That's it. We're done. Right, everybody come back home. We've blown up factories. Come back home. Don't put yourselves at risk. Okay, fine. Let's just do the thing where we just dodge out their way because these enemy planes are completely unmaneuverable. We pull up alongside you and you shoot at nothing. Waste of bullets, really. And we fly away. We're going to be fine. We're going to be absolutely fine getting this mission sorted. I've got absolutely no worries. I'm sure we'll get away from this as well. We'll just... <laughs> what a defense pattern. We've got attack pattern alpha. This can be defense pattern beta or something. There we go. Defense pattern beta. Absolutely fine. We're going to be okay with this mission. This is going to be no trouble. Ah, now one of our pilots has been caught on a bombing run. So, okay, right, when I said no trouble, a tiny bit of trouble in the fact that... Oh, no, at least they came back. At least they came back. So, okay, right, that's fine. We'll repair you up. It's all good. You've run out of bullets. Let's do the bombing run thing. Okay, and there, and there. And that looks pretty much on target. Okay, boom. And they got away, which is good. Right, let's get you repaired. So what's broken on yours? Right, let's get you repaired and you restocked with ammo. And there we go, mission accomplished. We bombed five of their kind of depot things and nobody died. We didn't shoot anybody down. It was purely all sort of bombing run stuff. And our guy that did get hit managed to get back and we sort of repaired his thing up. So it was all absolutely fine. We've been given a bit more money and our morale has gone up even more. I mean, our morale can't go up. It's already maxed out at 100, but there we go. And yeah, everybody else just needs their sort of things looking at. You need some more ammo. Imagine you're going to need some more ammo or fuel or whatever. But that's fine. We can get that all done. And we've got ourselves quite a nice pile of money. Right, whilst we're here, let's order another 100 spare parts. And whilst we're sort of fixing things up and refueling and reloading, all that kind of stuff, we'll just get those things delivered. Okay, we're down to one radiator in stock again. Let's make another radiator, because that might be quite useful. And then on workbench number two, what's going to be quite handy? Um, we've only got one engine in stock. Uh, ah, we can't do that. Right, we want to make another engine, but we might need to wait for all of the spare parts to arrive first, because, yeah, we're five short. Okay, fine, right, move time on nice and quick. We'll get the, um, we'll get the parts in, then we'll make an engine, and then it'll be day six, which I believe is our final day of operations here in Tunis. Okay, day six rolls around. We've got our engine constructed. That was all absolutely fine. Right, okay. Oh, I thought the people in the village were going to pop by. They seem to have been around every single day. The run to Tunis. The final act. By now, our people are almost in Tunis. Missions of the day. Vehicle bombardment. Village. Oh, there you go. There's the village nearby. Hi, village nearby. Your technicians worked all night and managed to fix the enemy plane. Oh, now it's on the operating line. Oh, we have ourselves a plane. We've got a BF109E1. Oh, they're a fine plane. I love that. Well, well sort of superior to the BF109E0. Oh, that, that was a rubbish plane. Um, okay, right, good. We've got ourselves a plane. Um, and we have just a mission straight in. That's it. Minimum targets to bombard three. Uh, okay, I mean, can everybody go out? We'll repair that because we've got quite a bit of money left. Let's just send all of the pilots out. There we go. And somebody can go out in that plane as well just to confuse the enemy. They'll be a little bit baffled as to what's going on with that. Um, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, everybody take off. Let us do some vehicle bombardment. So yeah, three. Three targets is the minimum that we need to successfully bombard. I think we'll be fine. Okay, we have ourselves a dogfight situation, but we're facing up against a plane that is the same as ours. So we might struggle a bit. We're not just going to be able to pull our sort of very simple you know, defense pattern beta kind of thing. Let's see if we can just move back a little bit. Right, they've gone really far forward. We'll just go sideways again, and then we'll go sideways again, and then we'll go side... And do you know what? That, that works absolutely fine. There we go. Right, we've avoided their attack. <laughs> we just, just put the handbrake on and just fly next to them. It's all fine. Right, where is everybody? Where is everybody with the bombardment things? Okay, there we go. Right, bombardment number one. Oh, crikey. Oh, oh, that might have been quite good. That might have been quite good. That was a direct hit right on the top. That is one vehicle bombarded already. That is wonderful. Okay, right, some more evasion for us to deal with. Um, okay, right, dodge back a bit. 
Oh, these are going to be far more nimble, aren't they? We still have another move on them, though. Right, dodge back. They get, they get, they've cottoned on to a defense pattern beta. They, they've figured that out. Okay, can we barrel roll out the way? No, he's got our wing. He's got our wing. Botherations. Okay, right. He's down. He's down. Okay, it's fine. There's something wrong. Yeah, your, your wing's falling off. That's the problem. Okay, hang on a minute. You can pull into the thing. Let's see if we can get this done. Right, boom. And, oh, boom. Target. Oh, bye. Well, come on. That would have got it. That would have got it there. <laughs> that would have clipped that thing. If you'd have dropped the bomb, it would have at least you know, given it a puncture or something. It would have been fine. Okay, you look at that. Oh, another evasion thing. Um, okay, go back one. Go back one. Oh, there. They've done that. That's fine. Go back one. Oh, no. If we go back one, we're not going to be able to do it. That Oh, this that doesn't work. Can we just go there and try and dodge it away? No, they've really, really shot our wing off there. Yep. Yep. That, okay, right. Attack pattern beta doesn't work anymore. My plane can't fly. I know, just because it got riddled with bullet holes, it's fine. Okay, here we go. One of these things. Okay, there and there. Bombs dropped. Please be on target. Please be on target. Beautiful. Okay, right. We're not so bad at that anymore. We're okay at that sort of thing. Right, you're out of ammo. That's fine. Come up and restock. Right, we need this to work. We need this. Oh, it, really? Oh, come on. Come on now, that was on. That was on target. Oh, I feel a bit hard done by. <laughs> I feel a bit hard done by. Time is running out. Time is running out for the mission. We've had two misses. Okay, we're not going to get many more chances. Oh, no. Bombs dropped, bombs dropped. Did that hit? Did that hit? <gasps> it hit. I think that's it. Three is the target number that we needed, and three is how many we've hit. Okay, that's very fortunate. Okay, so you go and repair that thing. You go and repair that. Right, you can fly back out, but we're done. We're done. Okay, now it's just now it's just for the glory, isn't it? There we go, and boom. Yeah, there we go. We've got another one. Don't worry, we're doing more than you asked us to. We've blown up loads of things. Okay, investigate whether whatever that thing is is broken. Might be. No idea what it is. Right, you come in. Give you some more ammo. You need a bit of... What do you need? I know you're done. You're done. I know you're not. You're not done. But it doesn't matter anyway. Mission accomplished. We bombed four of their sort of trucks and a pilot got promoted. We got some money. We got some morale. But, um, but yeah, it's fine. We don't really need to, we don't really need to do anything else. F Grey has been promoted. Mission ended. All pilots return to base. Now let's get you sort of reloaded and whatever for the next day. But there we go. We're done. We're done. Now I think new missions, we can do it again if we wanted to. And of course the more missions you do, I kind of forgot about these. The more missions you do, you can get more of these perk point things. But, uh, do you know what? Let's take one of these. Let's take, um, let's take, uh, we haven't seen anything with camp security. That's, nothing's happened there. Nobody's come in and took some stuff. But let's have that. Let's have the ammo capacity of each aircraft increased by 20. Because they can come in and refuel, uh, not refuel, well, refuel and also sort of reload with bullets and stuff a little bit less frequently. So there we go. And that gives us fire resistance increased and inspection of a damaged plane takes 50% less time. That could be quite good. But you know what? We're not going to need it anyway, because I think if we go to there, refuel, and if we go to there, reload, I think that's it. I think that's it. We can just move time on to the end of the day, because I think our time here at this little airbase over here near Tunis is pretty much done. Because I think day six is the last day we need to do. We've completed the mission. So, uh, yeah, let's move it on and just see what happens at the end. So there we go. End of the day. And we're still looking okay for stuff. I mean, you know, given that we've just gone through six days of doing all sorts of bombing raids and fights and all that kind of stuff, we've got some spare parts left. We've got a bit of fuel left. And we have some ammunition left as well. And quite a nice pile of money too. So, you know, if it was going on, we could invest in some more planes and we could get some more ammo and what have you. So things were looking okay. However, let's go to the next day. Victory in Tunis. Hurrah. You helped build the village well. Okay, that's nice. So we uh, completed seven missions. And of course, we could have done lots more. We could have gone and done loads more. We could have just kept repeating some missions every day. Of course, you do that. You're going to sort of, you know, damage your planes a bit more. More risk of your pilots being shot down. All that kind of stuff. We only lost one pilot very early on. And I think, is that it? Oh, there you go. Right. So we go back to the campaign. Go to the USA campaign. And, uh, oh, okay. Oh, Right, okay, maybe this isn't available at all. Maybe this is not available in the sort of demo beta version of the game. So there we go. So we've done it. We've done what is available in the demo version right now. And do you know what? I like that. That's very good. That's a very enjoyable thing. And you know, you can play it in different ways. You could do it a little bit like we did. Just do what you need to do to get through the day. But if you wanted to, you could really sort of max things out. You could go and do loads of different missions. You could get your pilots all really skilled. You could get loads of different planes and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's very interesting. That's interesting. I'd like to sort of know what's on the next ones as well. I'd like to know what's on the medium level one. Because I imagine our requirement there 
was to just, you know, to, to, for success, we need to complete one mission a day. I wonder if on medium, you need to complete two a day and all that kind of stuff. And it even says there, less precision when bombing, oh dear. Actions occur more often, less time available to take a combat decision. Oh, crikey. Yeah, there's all sorts of different things going on. Fewer service platforms. Oh, so you can only have two of your planes kind of being serviced at any one point. Okay, so yeah, so it is going to get, you know, it's obviously more difficult and then hard is going to be even, that's going to be worse, isn't it? <laughs> it's just going to be really, really difficult. But yeah, that's very enjoyable. That is very, very good indeed. I've had a, a good fun time with that. Who knew that I would actually be sort of vaguely competent at running a wartime airfield? There we go. Who knew indeed? So if you're interested, of course, this is available on Steam as a demo. And so yeah, there is a link to the Steam store page. If you want to go and check it out, then there is a link in the video description so you can do so. But yeah, we'll wrap things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be splendid. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other things that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. How are we doing? You've just circumvented the queue. You, Sarah, cheat. Oh my goodness me, there's 12 million people that just come in from an airplane. Are you a skeleton? Are you just Skeletor? Is that all it is? You, Maddo. You are a pain. You are a scourge upon this earth. People are urinating on the floor.